everyone likes working here. Justin could have prevented a murder. Well, Aaron, I hope you're okay with seeing me naked. Bitcoin crushed it. Let's talk about videos while I'm gone in Las Vegas. I had an idea for a video. I noticed in our portfolio video, a lot of people, they asked, who is this we? Why does he keep saying we? What if we did a video that was like a get to know the BitBoy crypto team? Something like that to where we interview everybody that's, you know, now we still want it to be like a 10 minute video. We don't want to be in an hour. So we got to be real quick. Maybe we can drive people to hit network from that video. Now it's not going to perform great, but it's going to answer a lot of questions. Cause you know all the hate we get out there. Well, the hit network does a real good job of like showing none of that stuff's true. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That we're just people that work here. We're doing a good job. We, we like each other. We, yeah. we want what's best for each other, crypto people, whatever. And so I think doing that video on the BitBoy channel, where it just shows the people that work here and you know, everyone likes working here. Don't put that <laughs> <laughs> you played it to camera so well. I know, I'm so good at the camera. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like it'll show like the softer side of BitBoy Crypto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it's not gonna perform great. Celebrities, they're just like you. Yeah, so, so speaking of this murder, one time, cause Justice slept through the whole thing. Justice slept through a murder, y'all. I, well, no, I called the police at 12 to try to get the police there. By the way, if you're the watch, you could have stopped this murder. Anyways, they, they, uh, it's in, in, a crime across the street my house. Gonna, I was going to ask y'all if y'all lived anywhere near yeah, that because I kept close. hearing about it on the radio. Yeah. I called the police an hour before the kid got killed and they didn't do anything. Yeah. An hour before. Justin could have prevented a murder. So one time I was at a party like this that was a, that was like huge fight, like people were, this guy had a pitchfork, stabbed another guy in the living room. It was like a big gang fight going on. Backward. No, this was in Canton. It was in Canton. Yeah. I mean, it's huge, it's huge, it's huge. Huge. It, 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 same thing. It started at somebody else's house and then it came over and it was, you know. <laughs> but here's the best part of it. The best part of it is similar to the way Justin slept through the whole thing. I literally was on a couch sleeping through the entire thing. <laughs> in the house? In the living room where the guy got stabbed with a pitchfork. Right in front of me. He I fell. slept through the entire thing. He fell it had been a rough night. Yeah. 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 Woke up with blood on his face. Like, where'd this what come happened? from? Well, I woke up. I, I woke up and the house was destroyed. And I was like, That's what like happened? The guy, like, what do you mean, what happened? Were you, you don't remember? I was like, the guy got I literally don't remember any. I wasn't even drinking. I was just, you know, whatever. It's, I came home, I had some pot brownies, really what it was. I had some pot brownies, went yeah, to a concert, came back home from the concert, Done. hit the couch, slept through the entire thing. So. Yeah, those brownies don't, they yeah. hit you. And the guys were like almost on top of me fighting. And I was like. <laughs> Other than that, I'm super pumped about the fact that we got this one. Uh, you look like, hey, I can't even see your face because the light is so bright. Do you remember uh, that movie, <laughs> The Village? Uh, M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. Remember that guy? Yes. You look like the person from the village, you know? Like the guy who put the- Here, here. Let's take a look at our perspective. You look so here. freaky. Is it scary? Yeah. It's freezing even, like, who, in the office. I'm freezing. If you just see this coming at you with a camera, like, what do you do? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. There you are. That's you. <laughs> That's me. Except I definitely trim my fingernails. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Bearish or Bullish. Well, that's all we got for today. Until next time, have a great weekend. All right. Beautiful. You're beautiful. Don't make him blush. <laughs> Wait. Well, I'm digitally zoomed on it, dude. I, I feel like we're kind of in a bad spot because we're so close to this point. Anyone see if somebody will cover it? That's not what I want to hear. Dude, he disappeared. He jumped and disappeared. And I don't want to hear that. All I, I like can think bugs. about is this thing crawling up my shorts right now. I don't want to bug on me. Dude, where did it go? It's got to be on me. No. It's got to be on me. No. Dude. Well, Aaron, I hope you're okay with seeing me naked.
Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. It makes me want to cry. My name is Ben, which also makes me want to cry. Just kidding, it's a great name. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money in crypto, smash, smash that subscribe button and the like button. Four six trillion dollars in market cap. Now, I believe we did set a new all-time high over the weekend. It looks like it was 2.537 trillion. We did hit 2.5. I think at some point in the day we did tick up over that. So it's very, very, very close. Uh, but the volume is still very low. I was told it doesn't really matter, and I believe that it probably doesn't matter right now. But you know, we want to see this thing closer to 120 to 150 billion dollars. It's 104. It was actually 100 billion exactly today. Uh, earlier today, which was quite interesting. Now the dominance here, we got ETH ticking under 18% for the first time in a long time. We got Bitcoin over 47. This is the highest it's been in a while. I expected to get somewhere around 55%. And guys, here's a fact. The fact is, we've been looking at um, you know Bitcoin running away and, and crushing everything recently, but our portfolio has not really moved even though Bitcoin's going up because our major altcoins have been getting crushed. So Bitcoin drops a little bit, altcoins get absolutely crushed, Bitcoin recovers, altcoins don't move. So it's just a part of the cycle we're in, so it's really interesting uh, to watch that dichotomy happen. Bitcoin coming in right now, $61,872, up 2% over yesterday. And I tell you what was really interesting last night, and we had that big drop. We saw Bitcoin go all the way down to $58,000, or in the 58 somewhere, I don't know exactly, we'll look in a minute. But you know, the weekly close was last night at 8 Eastern Standard Time. So the thing was, is it was like, oh my gosh, are we not going to close above 60? We need to close above that to break a record for the all-time high weekly candle. It didn't look like we were going to get there a few hours before, but this is how bullish things are. Bitcoin crushed it leading up to the close. As bears were trying to push it down, they got it to 58. It was all the way up to $62,000 by the close. That is phenomenal. All right, guys, that's all we got for the show. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. It's been a, been a great one. Expecting all-time highs. Uh, you guys know pretty soon I think we will see them. Final check on Bitcoin. We are above $62,000 right now, so we could be making that push today. Tomorrow, I see Ethereum get back over four. It'll be fun. Go Braves. Drop on. That's all I got. Be blessed. Go Braves. Even this is cool. Oh, yeah. Little, you know, like all of it is just, you know, clicks through this. Oh, my gosh. I'm so turned on right now. Yeah, it's good. I mean, he's still getting the logos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, just wow. much better. We found it. We found him. How many hours have gone by? Uh, I think like five or six hours have gone by. Uh, we spotted him a couple times, but he was too high to get to, and Ben was on an interview, so we couldn't get him at that Look time. Look how convenient, though. The napkin is there. Yeah, he knew. He, 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 he was get coming Get that mother here. trucker out of here. Come here, bud. Back. Let's send him for a right, swirl welcome. down the toilet. All right, here we go. Let's go flush him. Say hi to him. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bo bye. Carl. You're cute, but we know you have the potential to sink, so we'll put him on a boat. Wait, he's floating. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's sinking. It's sinking. Hello. Uh Yo, Frank, I, I came in here and like, I was trying to see TJ or DZ. Like, who's this guy? They just called him this guy to fill the gap. Uh, Cause I think DZ went to like, I don't know where DZ's going, but he's just out of here. Um, but yeah, dude, they just found him. I think he might have been like outside or working downstairs, like in the printing company or something. And they just needed someone. They just grabbed him. I don't know if he has crypto knowledge or what. All right, folks, welcome to Around the Blockchain. Friends, DJs, e-girl simps, maga chuds, birthing persons, furries, Mopar enthusiasts, dungeons masters, LGBT cuties, and content creators from all across the universe. It's Around the Blockchain. I'm not Ben, I'm not DZ. 
I'm Nick DeMondi, and I'm going to be your host today, so get with it. Here we go. That's it. Round the blockchain out. Thank you to all the guests. We out. Nick, first ever around the blockchain. How'd it go, man? Uh, you know, Dude, I you we had great guests. I'll be tendering my resignation Wait, you live in uh, immediately because, uh, you know, Ben, they're all professionals, and you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm just not normal. Used to being on on camera. I'm, I'm very, I'm very behind the camera. You know, I'm like Litecoin to Bitcoin, but I'll be around. I'll be around. They may have me back. I don't know, but you know, OnlyFans. It's kind of the way it is.